Hi students! So this is our last week of classes and I've made some updates on Canvas to help you find blue jeans and other things more easily. First, as you can see on this page, I've added the blue jeans button. So if you couldn't find blue jeans in modules before, right here, I added this blue jeans button right here so we can have our virtual classroom, our last virtual class of term right here. So all you got to do is click this to go to class this Saturday. So when you click it, it just goes to blue jeans. Right now there's nobody in the class. And so it's loading and loading. And there you go. The meeting hasn't happened yet. And it's scheduled to be this Saturday. Next, we do have our worksheets and announcements later on. So you won't see this yet, but it's coming up. So when this is announcement comes up, you'll see your next worksheet along with your lecture slide. So this announcement says we have our chapter 14 worksheet on correlation and regression. So again, you can start with our worksheet and answers. I will post up one just for worksheets as well so you can work on it. And for other exercises, you can do linear regression and correlation in these links right here. So these are practice questions for you. So be sure to check those out. Finally, in the modules, again, a couple things. Here is our virtual classroom. So this is blue jeans again. So you can check that out and click that. Scroll down and you're going to need your chapter 14 stuff. So scroll all the way down and <clears throat> Notice it's week 13, so this is our last class right here. And we'll first be doing a practice quiz for 45 minutes, first thing in the class. Okay, practice quiz. And this practice quiz is on chapter 12. During the week though, you'd want to catch up with your chapter 14. So during this week, from Monday to Friday, you'd want to study this. Again, it's on chapter 14, correlation and regression. If you have heard of re popular regression, ah, sorry, correlation before, you can uh, review that from your research methods class. Okay, so that's it. We'll see you in the next one.